Today I'm near Aravica. Not to be confused with Aravipa. Two different places. I'll look up what they mean and I'll put the translation um, on the screen. I'm here at an old mine site. There's a couple of them dotted around here. There's one over off in the distance, and there's one right here. Um, I see, I see a slag, or not a slag pile, a uh, tailings pile over there. So there must have been a, a mill here. The tailings pile is over there. You might be able to see it past this tree. Yes, the foundation to a, a mill. They just had it graded off because the rest of the mill was down there. And they were dumping it over there. Let's take a quick, quick look at this and we'll head over to that other one. And they wanted that to stay together. Still reinforced concrete. There's a better look at that tailings pile. <clears throat> I was going to drive over closer to that, but I'm close enough now that I think I'll just uh, hoof it. Came across these foundations. Looks like they had a furnace or something set up right there. I don't know what that was. It goes all the way through. There's a well head. Looks like they're piping water over to that um, trough over here. Looks like there's a road that goes right to this. I could have driven all the way up to it. We are almost there. Mine's right there. We're here. It's looking pretty cool so far. I see a dozer. I see some equipment over there. 
the workshop. The uh, um, loader. A rabbit. box or whatever that was. Seventy five B Clark. Heater and a barbecue. All right, let's get back over to the other stuff. Spare bucket. <clears throat> this looks like an old stove, or maybe an old fireplace. Oh yeah, an old cast iron fire fireplace. Decorative balls. There's that old dozer. We'll make our way around to that right now. It's an international Let's finish walking around this and let's see what else we can find. Down if I see anything interesting. I'll make it quieter this time too. Wonder what else, what else is buried in that sand. Workshops first. Okay, look at that. That's pretty cool.
There's the shaft. It's all collapsed in. You can see debris down there. Oh, I think it's a pump off of a piece of heavy equipment. Ooh, what is this? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Holy cow. No way. The cool wire baskets. Whatever that machine did. Full of uh, jars with There's a rat living in there now, but what were they using this for? What is this? You guys can help me out. Sucker. Turn on the light. Got switches on it. Oh, sorry. If there's still power to this place. Napkins. That's pretty cool. That's eyewash. Okay, let's see what this little barn is. Pretty sure that was a shaker table. There's another well head. It's a little empty shack. So we cut the fence there.
Yeah, we'll go up this way, I guess. <clears throat> Look at that coffee pot. I don't know what these are called, but I know they're used to separate the material. So there must be acid tanks or something around here, or I don't know how it works. Here we're inside. I don't know what this piece of equipment did. A bunch of filters on it. Okay. See if the power is still on. Let's see the that light now. Nope, no power. Get your sink, your clutter, a bunch of uh, plumbing fixtures, or pipe, I mean, fittings. There you go. How about this sucker? She's a beauty. Oh, it's got a huge generator in the back. I'll show you in a minute. Good asbestos tile floors. Yeah, it's an old coal air generator mounted in their truck. Power on the go. That. There's a rat living under there. Disturb his peace just for my enjoyment. I see some signs over here. Wonder what they say. It's a shaft. It's full of water. Stink water, even. I think they were looking for gold around here. I haven't seen anything very interesting, though, rock wise.
that was probably a shaker table. Yeah, I almost uh, guarantee it. I mean, it's obvious this mine wasn't that old, but it's cool to find abandoned stuff. Bear belts. Little mill set up right here. Oh, shoot. Now let's start at the top here. Okay, hopper or bin. Drops down onto the conveyor belt, runs up into this uh, crusher. Gets crushed, drops down onto this belt, goes back up into here. Let's take a better look at this crusher before I climb down there. Yeah, I'll just keep you guys on. The motor driving the belt drives this thingy that uh, get up in here, drops the rocks into there, and those jaws uh, crush it down. There's some of the ore still laying there. Guess this was some of the ore they were. Getting ready to crush. Okay, we we're just following this belt up, and this belt drops into this hopper, which is another crusher, a lot finer crusher. Crushes it down to powder at that point. It then follows this conveyor belt along. Drops into this uh, screen. Separates the big stuff from the little stuff. There's multi -la multiple layers of screen in there. It goes, drops into there. That's all covered. Let me get down there. There's a ladder right here. Somebody would. I like this old Ford hubcap. That's in good shape too. Anyway, it drops into that machine. It looks like it keeps separating it, or it drops down into this next uh, belt. I'm not sure how this process works. It looks like where the rock, the bigger rocks, get separated. They drop down into here, come down here, fall into this, and fall out here. So this is probably where the big rock pile was that they didn't want. Or that was too big to...
dropping into here. Yeah, I have no idea what happens after this process. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that machine is. I don't know what that was. I don't know what this sucker is. Let's climb up there and take a look in. I should have drove closer. Well, here's a tomb. Let's see who is riding on the top. Okay, I have a feeling that that tomb's not the only body here. There's a little pile of rocks there, but a bigger pile here and a bigger pile there. Oh, there's another pile over there. Pretty sure that's a little cemetery. I have a theory. I had a debate with my friend. I, I think that it's possible that every inch of the earth that's covered with dirt anyways could have been walked on by men. And I'm not talking about like, oh, Look, there's underneath that rock, I can now step on fresh ground. I'm talking about the location. Um, and the reason I say that is because, you know, we've been here for a couple hundred years now. But before us, there was uh, the Indians. And before them, there were people. Before them, there were people. Thousands of years. And this place looks pretty remote and desolate except for these strange piles of rocks right here. But let me show you something when I get back to the Jeep. I can't find a spot, it's hard to find a spot that I can't get glare off this. Um, here's my location now. But if I fade in here, let's do this 1930s topo map. Come on. There it goes. There were houses all along there, and all along here. A little, little, little town or village here. I don't have... Uh, any Wi-Fi right here, so it's not loading. But there's hardly any remains of that now. And we've only been here for a couple hundred years. And there's been thousands of years of people. So that's why I say that almost everywhere has been traveled by men. What's your opinion on that?
made out of rubber. Well, no, maybe it's fiberglass. I don't know what it's made out of, some kind of tank. Check out the mine. I'm sure it's a shaft, but go check it out to be sure. So yes, this is a shaft and I could drop a camera down there and all that stuff. It's probably a pretty deep one based on the size of the waste truck pile. But there's lots of stuff to explore around here. So I'll head out and I'll take you guys along with. But I'll do that fast forward thing. I kind of like that. Um, I got that from another YouTuber and um, I'll share his name since I'm kind of ripping him off. Um, I don't remember what it is right now. and I. I don't have uh, internet service like I told you, so I can't look it up. So I'll put a link, or not a link. Oh, maybe I will. All right, let's go. came across this uh, antique crime scene I wanted to check out. There's one, maybe two more right there. Another one over there. Bunch of bones just laying everywhere here. One up for scale. Is that a leg bone? These little things must be from a deer or something. Well, at least three of them. Last time I found a uh, mining claim with the paperwork and the, all that stuff still intact, I found it. I wasn't recording and I suck at acting, so let's see if there's anything in here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll... Oops, that's my phone it was reading. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link to the video where I found a... found a mining claim in an old band-aid box from the 1930s.
I left it there. I wish I would have uh, at least read the papers better. The claim paper. I think that's 1937. There's some more in there, but it's in pretty bad shape. I'm gonna mess it up. On my way to this mine, there was uh, quartz outcroppings. There's quartz laying all over the ground, all over these hillsides. But there's active mining claims everywhere posted. Um, even this spot right here, there's an active mining claim. So I can't pick up any rocks. A little building with a roof, it looked like it burnt. That's a shame. Some debris down there in the wash. You can see some of that quartz in the wash right down there in there. Oh, here's the here's the cut where they were trying to there's lots of little mines around here but none of them go very deep there's just uh not a lot of material around here i guess or not a lot of uh gold in the in the material that looks like it might open Water coming out of that well looks refreshing. Let's take a look at this. Let's see if this is some. Man, these rocks are beautiful. Throwing a rock down from the top in case there's any animals in here. Look at that. Look at that vein, or what do they call it in Australia? A rift? It out. Have a look back at the flashlight on the helmet. Maybe I should go get some. Maybe I should be better equipped for this before going too deep. There's no smell, the weather's nice. And that definitely pinches out right there. Actually, maybe not. Ouch, there's cactus on the ground. Well, it's on my knee now. <laughs> okay, we're going to stay away from that guy. Right, buddy? Okay. See you back outside.
Should we just look down there? Look at this quartz wall. It's hard to believe there's nothing in it. Kind of fresh poopies. Yeah, I just call them poopies. Looks like something beds down right there. See all the rocks are pushed out of the way. Wraps this one up. Let's go see what else we can find. Looks like they might be drawing the well, the water out of the shaft and into this tank. Look how crystal clear that is. But anyway, the overflow goes back into the into the shaft, so it's not being wasted. There's plenty of water underground here, so I don't know why they just don't pump it out, but... Look at all that quartz. I think this was a little area where they had their house set up or their camp set up for that mine we were just looking at. Go around the other side and see what it so we can tell what it was. What do you guys think? Let's see, look at those uh, outcroppings right there at the quartz. different car. Here, took it. The gate had a lock on it. Let me buckle my seatbelt. The gate back there had a lock on it, but I was able to get past it anyways. There's fresh tire marks ahead of me. So, there's an active mine claim marker. So, people might be up here. I might get in trouble. Let's go see. Let's see what 
we have here. Check this out. <clears throat> Smells kind of weird in here. faint scent of urine like a urinal that hasn't it's like a urinal yeah of uh, crap on the ground. Sure hope it's not occupied right now. Looks like the face right there, and somebody's been in. That's an old ladder, actually. They were working it. Yeah, that's just the end right there. Right. This place looked interesting from a distance, but as I got closer, it um it's not as big as I thought it was. It's uh Check it out, see what we find. Looks like a graveyard for refrigerators. Another one right there, and there's actually another one over there. Just rocks in this barrel. Assuming that was a an orb bin, maybe. Looks like we have several portals. There's one there. There's one here by a bunch more refrigerators. What's up with all these refrigerators? How many refrigerators do you need? Turn 
you know, my lights and stuff. Do a check for snakes. Just faces right there. This continues on just for a little bit. All right, we're at another intersection that faces there. You can see the fault right along there. They went a little bit that way. Looks like they went this way. There's some copper staining there. We have an ore chute, still loaded with ore, or plugged with ore, however you want to look at it. I didn't see any sign of track in here. They must have been using wheelbarrows. Look at that. Wow. Anyway, it also looks like uh, they went down there, but it's filled now. And they continued on. Looks like there's another horse shoot up around the corner. Oh, yeah. Oops, this one's coming apart. The rocks have destroyed it. No looking up there either into the stope. Let's continue on, and that means there's another level or a stope ahead above us. Another ore chute. Wow, this one's a big sucker. Loaded with ore. Man, I wonder how much weight is up there. Well, here's a man way up there. I'm gonna have to peek up there and see what's going on after we're down done down here. Let's see. Two choices here. We'll stay to the right. Well, they did have rail in here. The balls are pretty green. You know, it doesn't show up, doesn't help me to show you, but... Looks like an open stove right here. It continues on. Let's get warm back here. 
humid too. Another ore chute. Kind of see up along the side of this one. See all the ore above it. This is all pulling apart right here. Yeah, it just got really humid. All right, it looks like it just ends right there. And ends right there. Look at that back. There's the muck sheet right there. This is where they, this is where they ended. On this one, let's go check out the other ones. I'm back to where this manway went up and where this intersection was. We went right. So now let's go left and see if it goes anywhere. I have a feeling it just faces right here. Yep. That's kind of interesting. Alright, I guess, uh, let's see if we can take a peek up. Ladder doesn't look too good. I need both hands, so. Okay, I'm at the top of this ore chute. This is where they were feeding the ore in at. I mean, it's completely full. But they were mining it from up there. And there's another ladder up there, so let's go and see if we can access it. This is one of those times I need some backup in case something happens. It looks like there's a sub-level up there. Anyway, it probably goes over to that other, uh, the other, uh, ore chutes over there that we passed on the way in. I'm back outside. I'm going to check out this one now. Doable. If I can get in there. Smells like wet dirt. A little warm, not too bad. This is it, huh? Some fur or something stuck to the wall there. This one was boring. So a minute, so a minute ago, we were in that mine right over there, and uh, I tried to climb up that manway um, that had the loose stairs on it or the loose ladder, and there was uh, all those ore chutes in there. So that's probably a haulage at it, 
and those are the um, shafts or the open stopes. So if I hiked up in there, I'd probably end up at the top of those ore chutes. I'm up here above the mine where those, where I told you the stopes were. I wonder if this was some kind of ore chute they had set up. It ran down. All right, well, I'm almost there. Look at all those slabs that are falling down on the entrance right there. Plus, just to get down in there, it's like a 10-foot drop. I think this one's a solid pass for me. I suppose there's another shaft up there. I don't think I'm gonna go up there though. Gonna make sure I saw everything here. And I'm gonna head back to my Jeep down there. And then I might go get something to eat. I got I restocked supplies in Green Valley. Green Valley got its name because the whole valley floor used to be green. And it wasn't the vegetation, it was actually the ground that was green. And then they came along and strip mined it. So all that's left now, piles of tailings. <laughs> 